press S to scale. Sorry about that. Press S to scale. And just drag it a little bit. Just a bit. Something like that. Sorry, it took me some time. I press 1 to go to front view, 5 to go to orthographic view. And now press uh, scale Z. And scale selected faces. Uh, that should be uh, just okay. Press A to deselect. Go to solid, I um, mean object mode. Press 5, go to perspective view. And yeah, now table. We have our table done. Uh, press 7, go to the front. Now we need, we are going to split our viewport into the two windows. So left click on the line up there, left click and confirm by right, I mean sorry, left click to sell, to bring out this option and confirm by right click, press 0 to go to the camera view and uh, on the left view we can continue with our work. Uh, and previously, I think you know the, the this is probably the best thing to do uh, every time when you are doing some modeling. Put the empty into your scene as a target for our camera. So by clicking anywhere, everywhere, add empty to our scene. Now deselect, select the camera, holding down shift, select the empty, control. D, try to constrain, deselect, uh, move the empty somewhere in, in the, into the middle of uh, our table by using your principles view uh, 1, move the empty a little bit higher and go to the top view, select the camera and you are, you are moving your camera, I see that it's still points to our empty if you go closer or further away but you're never never losing your tab table from from the camera view it, I think it's pretty useful and it's not that uh, a big deal to set it up so I think it's worth it to do it every time now our lighting for our scene because we are trying we will trying to create the same lighting conditions for each of the models we are making in this uh, video tutorials because finally in, at the end of uh, the story we'll tr we will put it together and make arrangements of our furniture in our virtual room we can create the walkthrough and some very interesting things with uh, effects like opening doors and opening windows and or whatever turning uh, switching the TV on uh, by applying the not still images but the uh, uh, video files as textures for our plasma TV which we will be making later on something like that okay so the same lighting conditions so, uh, go to front view by pressing one yeah this one the lamp is positioned about right I think go to the top view and um, click with your 3d cursor somewhere here go to the front view put it higher about, at about the same level as we have our lamp and uh, at lamp hemi now press the uh, shading buttons the lamp icon take energy of the hemi light down to 644 set up the color to about the same values as I do okay right seven select our table and we're going to 
put it some material so with the material buttons pressed add new add new and uh, under texture buttons uh, press the texture icon here and go for image holding down control load and I will use the same exactly the same texture as we used yesterday for uh, I mean yesterday in a previous session it was actually yesterday this wood wooden texture but I will change X repeat it all it uh, all depends on what kind of texture you are using for your model so I just I'm just change the X repeat and Y repeat to to from one to two okay let's add a famous carpet pressing somewhere here add mesh plane press S to scale it up go to the front view by pressing 1 put it somewhere here I'm going to put, I'm give it some material this is the last time I promise and in the next tutorials we are not doing this carpet and uh, okay I'll tell it I'll tell you that later on so a new carpet uh, we are go we go for the white which is alright yep yeah. then back to material textures so we have material then add new use stucky texture uh, noise size 0 0.08 or oh, 6 doesn't matter press the material buttons again map to change this purple to this shade of gray and the uh, normals set it up to 0 0.1.5 oh, doesn't matter press F12 to render and there we go I'm happy with that I like it it's not that complicated but it's like just go to the world buttons and press the blend change this blue for this kind of purple enter and render your final picture All right. this time do not forget to save your file you have saved your scene already so now you don't have to go here just press control W and this is gonna bring you something different because I didn't uh, set up my scene at the beginning but you probably did so just press ctrl w and save it okay thank you very much in the next video tutorial from this series we're going to be modeling the simple sofa so I'm looking forward and uh, keep on doing good job with the blender see you guys